to this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranean. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend, or of course you can ask the audience. Okay, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, you fancy another go at winning the million? Okay, best of luck. Let's play. Okay, for a hundred quid, here's question number one. Excellent. Right answer. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. That's the right answer. Here's question number three. It's worth 300 pounds. Only play this if you want to. You don't have to. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. No problems there. That's the right answer. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Well played. That's correct. You've reached the first milestone, that's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 What colour is umber? Brown, yellow, blue or orange? Well played, that's correct. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth 4,000 pounds. Good luck. The first line of which Shakespeare play is Boatswain, Twelfth Night, The Tempest, Macbeth, Hamlet. Right, you've decided to ask the audience. Now, let's hope they can help. Audience, on your keypads, please. All vote now. Final answer. You lose a grand if it's wrong. That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Okay, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. In which film does James Bond steal a moon buggy to escape from his enemies? Octopussy. Moonraker, Diamonds Are Forever, or Live and Let Die? Of course it is, that's the right answer. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible 16,000 pounds. The football club Feyenoord is based in which Dutch city? Amsterdam. Eindhoven, 
Groningen, Rotterdam. Make sure you don't press the wrong button. Wonderful, it's the right answer. Okay, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win £32,000 guaranteed. The Cocos Island form a dependency of which country? New Zealand, Australia, India, UK. That's absolutely correct. Well played. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. In the US TV series Happy Days, what is the first name of the Fonz? Alan, Arthur, Gerald, Gordon. Okay, let's try and make things a little easier for you. Computer, please take away two random wrong answers. Jolly good, it's the right answer. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. In 2003, which Formula One racing driver was dropped by the BAR team for the 2004 season? Jacques Villeneuve, Jensen Button, Olivier Parnis, or Ryo Fukuda? Absolutely spot on. Well done. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to £32,000. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. Which American author wrote the book Bright Lights, Big City? Brett Easton Ellis, Douglas Copeland, Jeff Noon, or Jay McInerney? Are you absolutely sure? We're talking about a huge amount of money here. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Well played. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14, but think very carefully about what you want to do. Which motorcycle company celebrated its centenary in 2003? Norton, Ducati, Moto Guzzi, or Harley Davidson? I'll just remind you, you do not have to play this. You would drop 218,000 pounds if it's wrong. That's absolutely correct. Well played. Fantastic. You have played a brilliant game so far, and now you have £500,000. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. In Jude the Obscure, what fictitious name does Thomas Hardy give to Oxford? Christchurch, Christminster, 
Christ Town, Christ Bridge. Okay, let's find a friend. Now, who do you think might be able to help you choose the right answer? Ah, now isn't that a shame? I don't know the answer to that at all. Sorry. Good luck for the rest of the game, though. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic. What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good luck. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs>